I don't know, like, what if I f*** this up? You know? What if I really f*** this up? This is like, this is like a completely new thing for me. I used to be able to come in and just like stay focused on like one thing. And now it's just like, it's like a storm of stuff constantly. And try not to make mistakes, but clearly making errors. What mistakes are you making? I gotta resend, I gotta resend you that contract. Like the contract's fine, but it, it doesn't say that he's a nerd, says that he's a oh. Dude, that's a small thing. Don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, but I totally missed it. And then I missed it again. What, what's... Hello? You're being too hard on yourself. I don't care that we have to redo one contract because a mistake was made. But what you shouldn't do is beat yourself up for missing it. Right. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I don't know. As now, what else did you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing yet. Uh... Dude, in the last three weeks, man, we've had some disappointments and we've had major wins major wins i know i know we have so the reason why it bothers me to hear you talk like this is mostly because it's just like it's not that dire right it's not that dire man and I feel, yeah i feel like it is from like a structural point of no view. Okay. it's not we've been doing this for 12 years with, yeah. with less structure than this yeah. <laughs> we built a pretty and successful company yeah without someone in your role, That's right. without someone doing what you're doing, without someone bringing what you're bringing and without any of the processes you're trying to implement. Right. We're not going back, but I'm saying a few, a few bumps along the way yeah. isn't, isn't, we're not that weak. My wife was telling me actually, she was like, look, you know this is like you going back to school, right? This is like, that, like last week was like your first day of school. You can't be expected to know everything. You can't. It's impossible. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Red book. I love that book. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I, that book was very uh, formative. In this book, yeah. right? How to Win Friends and Influence People, yeah. the number one takeaway I took is you cannot get mad at people for not having the experiences that you've had and not knowing what you know. Right. So the same thing is true to yourself. Right. Don't hold yourself to the standards of others when you haven't had others' experiences and you don't know what they know. Dude, man, you're gonna f*** up so much bigger than this. I know, I know, I know, it's true. <laughs> this is like nothing. Yeah, I know. Well, I hope I don't. You I will. Don't. You will. You're gonna do something and someone's gonna walk in and quit over it. Yeah. You're right, that will happen. That will happen? Yeah, that will happen one day. Yeah, because you're gonna be sticking to your principles. Yeah. And someone's going to say, I don't agree with you. Yeah. And then you're going to say, what? Well, okay, I'll give in. No. No. Can't do that. Okay. You're going to do something that loses us a lot of money. It's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to do something that accidentally pushes clients away. Yes. And even though our best intentions were there, and even though we thought we were doing the right thing, we're going to lose clients over decisions we make. So we're going to do stuff where one day someone's going to not like what we do and they're going to quit. We're going to do stuff with clients where even though we're trying to do the right thing, they're going to say, you guys are idiots. We're going to do stuff that wastes our money and, and we're going to make mistakes that waste clients' money. Even though we, like, nobody wants to do any of that stuff. That stuff's going to happen one day. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're going to get big. We're going to get sued. Something's going to happen in the press. You, you have no idea. Right? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. So, dude, this yeah. is like nothing. I know. It's okay. Okay. I just want to be, you know, I want to be performing, Mark. I want to be hitting our goals, and I want to be, want to offer the company structure. And I just, I want, I want to, I want to make this place better, man. I want to. I really do. It's really, honestly, if if Evan was here, he would tell me, no. What you're, what you're really scared of, is letting everyone down. It's really not failing. It's not having the acceptance of a team that once revered you. But now looks at you differently. And no one looks like, you know, operations 101 out there, right? Like I'm, I'm trying to make decisions and I'm trying to like stick to them because I, I know that people are like, well, why is he doing that? I need to do things my way because that's, that's what got me here. I want to listen to my team to make things better, but I also, I need to listen to myself because the decisions I made got me here.
It wasn't that somebody else made this, these decisions for me. So I, I need to stay confident in that. What did I say? What did I say to you know the the editor we were bringing on board last week? It's going to take you a year to get comfortable in the role. Yeah. And what's I the just, one? What's the one thing that you can't do? You can't give up. Yeah. I'm not going to give up, dude. I know you're not going to give up over up. this. I'm not giving up. Okay. All right. Cool. It's going to be called building it, building it. But actually, this is cool because like you can, you can document this whole process. Yes. Me filling this role and Mark talking me off of these these, these molehills, as it were.